Hey, g'day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carves. So today I'm going to look at four power tools. I have got a thumb, I haven't cut it off, you know. I'm going to look at four power tools that I think are great in power carving, especially my power carving. Uh, yours might be a little bit different, but I want you to have a look at this and I'm going to explain why each one is great, why I'm in love with this tool. Love is not too strong a word when it comes to tools, you know. Let's get on with it. The four most precious tools that I've got when it comes to power cut. Number four. Okay, so what's great about this bandsaw? Well, it is fabulous to cut down wood that are odd shapes. So here we have like a wagon wheel uh, spoke and to cut it down on a table saw would be absolutely horrible. It's gonna flip around and probably shoot back at you. So this is the safest way you can cut down wood that it, that's odd shapes. Okay, so the bandsaw is also great for cutting down uh, carving into to, to like general shapes. So here I am cutting down this piece of wood into a boat shape that I later finished and it looked like this. Number three. Okay, so next on the list is the scroll saw. And this is sort of like the bandsaw, but in a miniature kind of like a version of it. And so when you go smaller, it also does more detail. Okay, so here I am cutting out a bull's head. And this is a really detailed carving. And this uh, scroll saw is really, really good for getting close to those lines and saving you time in the long run when it comes to the carving. You've got the really detailed general shape there. Number two. Okay, so next in line is the disc sander, and pretty much this seems like a quite a strange machine for a power carver. However, I put a 60 or a 40 grit on there, and it turns it into a beautiful shaping, a rounding off machine, and you can like round off sculptures like this Viking cup into a beautiful shape. It's got a really nice flowing motion to it. Okay, in at number one. Okay, so in at number one has to be the power cover itself. You know, this thing, that's great. Um, don't use it like that, that's just ridiculous. Okay, so use it like this, uh, and it's like a pen. So you can use it for really, really fine details, like here on this uh, dragon's spoon. And also you can use it to remove large amounts as well. It actually really depends on the burrs that you have connected to it. So it's a really, really versatile carving machine. Okay, so that was my top four power carving tools. Uh, of course, it's very personal. Um, tools are very personal, you know. Uh, so you you might have a different top four. Uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, love to know what they are. And also, if you saw a carving in that video, they're all featured in this playlist here. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. See ya.